good morning, you guys. Well, good afternoon. It's literally 12.01. That's not morning. Um, Kathy here with the Upstream Home in Buena Vista, Colorado. I'm excited to be with you guys today. And I have so much I want to share. So I'm going to jump right in and get started. If you are not able to watch all of this now, then come back and watch it later because there is going to be a ton of information in here for you guys today. So first things first, tomorrow is December 1st, you guys. Like, can you believe it? <laughs> like, how are we here already? But we are. So get ready. Um, and with that said, I've been working on Christmas decorating. Hi guys. Thanks for joining. And I'm sure some of you are too, right? Some of you are like, no, I did that two weeks ago. We are, well, we are done at this point. Um, but if you're not done, this is just a quick little blurb for you guys. So last year I painted wood bead garlands and I shared those here in a live literally 12, 13 months ago. Um, and I brought them back this year. So I just want to show you guys these real quick, and then we're going to dive into the project that I'm currently working on, which is painting a three-drawer dresser in a custom paint color that you're not going to want to miss, okay? So here are the garlands, um, and I wanted to share these with you guys because this is a great way to use Miss Buster Seeds Milk Paint um, in your home. Like, I have these for sale on my website, theupstreamhome.com, and you can purchase these there. But these are also, like, you guys can do this. If you have tricycle paint um, left over, then go grab it, throw together a wood bead garland, and you can paint it. I decided to distress and wax them. So this is the one I have in tricycle. Um, and then I did this one in boxwood. This one's my favorite. This is a shorter length, a five foot length. These are great for like laying on your coffee table or I have them on my bookshelf. There's a couple ways to use those. Um, of course, a classic farmhouse white. This one has the tassel as well, so that's another idea for you. Um, and then just a natural pine one. So if you're interested in wood bead garlands um, and you're like, well, those are beautiful, but I have 400 things on my list, Kath, and painting beads isn't one of them, then you can go grab them at my website. Um, or thanks for putting that in the comments, Chris. Um, or if you are feeling crafty and you want to take a chance at it, then go ahead and pick up one of those festive holiday colors. Um, Chris has put my affiliate link here in the comments, which is super helpful. So if you want to shop from there and then just put in the code, the code, the code 10 off UH for upstream home at checkout and you'll get 10% off your full order. Okay, y'all. So there's some um, Christmas crafts for you guys to do. I did these with my kids. These are really fun. I also did some wooden candlesticks. Those are also available for sale on my website, but that's another way to like decorate. I do, I have them on my bookshelf, but you can of course use them for tablescape on your holiday um, dining room table or a couple different ways for that as well. So many ways to use Miss Mustard's like Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint and a little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna set these beauties to the side. And what I wanted to share with you guys today that I'm currently working on is this three drawer dresser. So this is um, a really awesome dresser that I found on the side of the road. Um, and I'm going to be painting this today in a custom mix. So if you guys have been hanging around following along on our post this month, you know that boxwood is our color of the month, which is the color of my life. <laughs> It is my very favorite green. It is such a pretty color, but I decided to take a little twist on it um, and mix it with typewriter to make a custom green. So I've been painting a lot in army green recently, and it is, I can't keep it on my shelf. Like it is just flying off. As soon as anything I paint in that green um, gets staged and posted, it's sold. So it's been a really popular mix. And to come up with a really similar color in the Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint, I've mixed together boxwood and typewriter um, for this really wonderful, deep, like winter green, okay? So this is two parts boxwood, one part typewriter. I wondered about going a little bit darker, um, but I think this is going to do the trick for me. So if you guys want to um, tag along with me here, I'm going to paint this particular dresser. I'm gonna do the drawers and the base or the body of the dresser in the screen, and I'm gonna leave the top in the natural wood. 
Do you guys like a two-tone color or do you prefer everything to be matchy? Um, I go both ways, to be totally honest with you. Sometimes I'll do two-tone, sometimes, often I'll paint the whole piece, but this piece has a really beautiful brown wood tone to it. So I'm gonna leave the top natural or original um, and paint the drawers and the base of it. So again, this is two parts boxwood, one part, can you guys see that? It's two parts boxwood, one part typewriter. Oh my goodness, this is such a pretty green. Um, and I'm gonna do, I'm planning to do two coats of this. I went ahead and mixed, let's think about this. I mixed, I think I did three quarters of a cup of paint. To be totally honest with you, the um, numbers are missing on my measuring cup. So it might be a full cup, but either a full cup or less of paint to do two coats. A little bit of milk paint goes a long ways. You guys know this, I don't need to tell you. I'm just using a cheap chip brush, gorgeous green. It is such a pretty green, I'm so excited about this. Um, and just laying it right on, you guys. This is really easy paint to work with. If you guys haven't used Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint before, go ahead and get yourself some because it's amazing. I also wanted to tell you guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but we have um, in the Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint line, there's some small packages of milk paint too, which are great for those of you who might feel like, oh, I would like to try it, but I'm feeling a little bit intimidated. Um, what I really wanna say is just go for it. You're gonna be great at it. So there's the first coat of green, so fast, right? Um, but if you are feeling a little bit intimidated by it, and you're like, gosh, I just really wanna start like super slow, then grab these. These are awesome sample size packets. This is two tablespoons. Um, these are really great too for stocking stuffers, whether you want to be gifted them or you want to gift them. These are, I believe they're $8 on the website. Um, you, again, you can get 10% off when you use my code, 10 off UH. And that would be a great time, now would be a great time to stock up on them. I believe that we're currently offering free shipping on orders of $50 or above. Um, and if you are wondering what to tell people when they say like, what would you like for Christmas? You can be like, I would love some samples of Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint. And that way you can paint yourself a little set of sample sticks or pieces of wood. I'll show you what I use. I did this today when I was custom making this green. I just grabbed a paint stick. And so this part has been hemp oiled and this part has not yet. Um, but then you could paint some of these and have them on hand so that you have like a real life sample of what colors, um, of all the different colors. And then you have those to choose from when you're working on your next project, right? So have you guys used any boxwood recently? What have you guys painted in boxwood? It is truly my very favorite green. It makes me so happy and I'm really liking it with this typewriter mixed with it to be honest with you. I feel like it's pulling a little bit blue um, and I'm excited to see how it looks once it's all the way dry. We'll see if it tends to fall more green or more blue. You could add some, another like part of typewriter if you wanted to make sure it was darker. You could do just half and half. Um, a one-to-one -one ratio of boxwood and typewriter, I think that would be a really pretty green as well. I just decided to go for something a little bit lighter this round. Um, but like I said, this is the first time I've done this mix, so I might change it up next time. Okay, there it is. Right? Such a good green. And then I just like to paint the top of the drawer as well, where it's finished. I kind of use Anywhere that's like finished wood is my guide for like what to paint and what not to paint. I remember when I first started painting furniture, I was like, where do I stop? <laughs> do I paint the inside of the drawer? No, don't paint the inside of the drawer. <laughs> it's gonna take you forever. Um, I just tend to follow the line of like wherever the original stain is, that's what I'm assuming needs to be painted. And so the top here has the stain on it, the front of it, of course. And so that's what I'm following suit with. Again, this is two parts boxwood, one part 
typewriter. And then I also use a couple drops of the Milk Mix Easy to get my paint to um, just mix really easily and well. Let's see. Love the piece that, yes, in a post a couple days back. Okay, I'll have to go look at that one. I've been looking at like all the boxwood posts to be totally honest with you. And they're all so pretty. There was a really tall dresser that I liked. Um, I think there was one maybe that the legs were left in raw wood and the rest of it was painted. That was really pretty. You can't go wrong with it, you guys. Boxwood is like such a great green. Um, of course, it can play into your holiday tones, your greens and your reds, but I also think it's a really pretty spring green and it just makes me so happy to have around. So, um, are you guys DIYing your way through Christmas this year or, or not? I have to tell you, I was in, um, we went and did some Christmas shopping last weekend on Friday, no, Saturday, on Saturday, and I went to Target, and I was like, there's literally nobody in here. I don't know if anyone else had this experience, but the Target that I was in was like, honestly dead. I was like, there's nobody shopping. It was so delightful and kind of refreshing, and I did not expect that. Um, we live like pretty far away from any cities, and so we just happened to be there at the right time to like get some Christmas shopping done or else I honestly wouldn't have even gone on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised that it was so quiet in there. But the huge contrast was I literally went next door in the same parking lot to Hobby Lobby and it was a madhouse. I was like, there are so many people in here. And it was just so interesting to see the contrast of the number of people in Target versus the number of people in Hobby Lobby. So it made me think that there must be a lot of us who are painting our way through Christmas or crafting our way through Christmas this year. Um, yeah, I was really surprised. That was something to see. So, okay, that's it. The three drawers are done and I'm gonna move to the base of this um, dresser, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, off video and then I will come back and share Final pictures with you guys when it's done. I want to show you guys the hardware that I'm going to be attaching back to this too. Where did I put that? <laughs> okay, give me one sec. Let's see. Okay. I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. So I was lucky enough to find this with the original hardware, which I think is so pretty, this brass plate. And so this is like heavily, this has a lot of patina on it, right? Like we can tell that this is kind of like, worn the back in contrast is like so so bright so yellow but i kind of like this finish better especially considering how warm the top of this dresser is like the brown is so warm and the green's going to be like a dark navy green so i'm actually going to keep the original patina on these you can see the contrast really easily there um and reattach the original hardware so this piece will be available I ship all of my pieces coast to coast, so if you're watching this and you're like, I love that little East Lake dresser, I would love to have it for my home, reach out to me and I'd be glad to get you a shipping quote for you um, and see if we can get that to you. So thanks guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions, drop them here in the comments and be sure to um, make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter so that you know when this blog post comes out telling you all the details on how to get this color. So Chris, do you mind putting that in the comments too? So if anyone's like, oh shoot, I've never gotten an email from Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint, they can make sure they're on the list and they don't miss out on any of the great information that you guys share so regularly. So again, thanks for joining me. I'm Kathy from the Upstream Home here in Buena Vista, Colorado. Go find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram. That's where I like to hang out most and feel free to reach out with any questions. Thanks guys.